Hey, hey, email from the company. Before the interview? Yep. I don't understand. I did everything right. You asked me to wear a tie. Right? Alex asked me to smile when I enter the room and, and to explain to them that age is just a number and that I still can contribute. It may not be about you. Let's just keep looking. We've been looking. How many applications have I sent out? And you know, this is one of the few companies that even wanted to interview me and I blew it. No, you didn't. I forget, forget it. During this uh, COVID situation, I, I suppose I understand a lot of people are out of job and it's kind of a tough period for everyone. Uh, but um, believe in yourself and uh, be positive. At 50, people may think that it's actually very old because it's halfway to 100. But we still got a quarter to go based on the average Singaporean's lifespan. So, have to face it. <laughs> we have to step out of our comfort zone and have confidence in ourselves. The close of one door may be the open of another door. You will never know. Shall we go for a walk later? Get some fresh air? We haven't heard back from all of the companies anyway, so... Listen, I'm... I'm tired, okay? I'm going to bed. Don't you want to get that? Huh? Uh, what's the hurry? We both know it's going to be yet another rejection email, right? Huh. I've just been accepted as an internal audit trainee. Cheesecake. <laughs> so I learned about the SG United traineeship uh, program on the news actually. Yeah, so I was actually looking through a lot of the positions and the employers that listed their positions there are a lot more active or at least at that time um, actively responding. So the program that I um, got a response from was in the insurance industry and um, I took up business in school but I had no insurance background. So it just sounded like a very interesting thing for me to be able to learn um, this whole very specific thing. And I think um, in such an economy, the best way to improve your, your chances of securing a job would be to, you know, to sharpen your skills, uh, learn new things. It would be really good to be able to add new things onto my resume and also be able to earn some money along the way. Because you know, I'm doing in engineering life for so many years and healthcare is completely new and it's different from engineering. Um, but my friends and my family, they are very supportive. Yeah, they say that, hey, just go ahead and fulfill your dream. In any way, if you don't take this chance, you may not have a chance to fulfill your dreams. Yeah, but the only person that is worried is actually my mom. Her concern is that, whether can I make it, you know? Uh, how am I going to handle it if I'm going to see those patients with serious injury? And I tell my mom not to worry. When I just came to engineering, you also worry that I may not make it. But I make it through for the past 30 years. <laughs> yeah, first day of work, and then finally there was this thing called the, the uh, PCP course. They enrolled me. So to me, it's like, yes, time spent, but it's a knowledge that uh, once you acquire it, no one can take it away from you. So, uh, and especially for my age, 
which company will actually invest money and, and send you for cost some more. Hey! Hey! Your favourite! What's the good news? <laughs> Open it and see. Alright. That's great. Mm -hmm. How about the traineeship? When will that be over? Two months. Well, then I hope the company converts you to a full-timer. Yeah, well, I also sent up some resumes um, just to be safe. Come, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, dear. You did it. We did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Wait. My short-term goal is very easy. Just complete my course and get a job. <laughs> my long-term goal is also very simple. Just to uh, sustain in the job for another 10 more years before I retire. As far as my area, my scope of area of uh, work is concerned, I certainly hope that on a very personal ground to actually uh, uh, spot someone that I can actually groom and share the knowledge. So my short-term goal would be to um, to be able to stay for the 12 months <laughs> and um, you know complete the traineeship and learn as much as I can and do a good job because um, at the end of the 12 months they may or may not offer me a full-time position. Uh, for myself, I have a lot of faith in uh, what uh, I believe, you know, and uh, therefore trusting that I'm, I'm quite sure that in whatever that I do, you know, when I embark on it and I give my whole heart into it, I'm surely able to actually achieve it. You know, right now I'm just working on um, doing my best in what, uh, what I've been given and making the most of it and trying to, yeah, and just trying to pick up the, the, the skills. Be positive and, and, and uh, move forth into uh, doing what you wanted to do, yeah. Okay, come. Selfie, 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 mm, mate. Let, let it first. No, now, now, come on. Yeah. Uh, mm. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, very good. Fantastic. <laughs> perfect. Actually, you know what? Hmm? This would have been perfect if we still had our old place. Get some passive income. Hmm. Why not just be happy that we have a new home and the chance to decorate it? Yeah, well. No, I've never really liked our flooring in our old place anyway. <laughs> hmm? Mm. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah? Yeah, this is Nick. Next Tuesday. Uh, yeah. Y yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Guess what? Yep. That's an interview next Tuesday. That's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about the thing about the flooring again? In such a situation, the best way is to learn new skills. We have to step out of our comfort zone and have confidence in ourselves. The close of one door may be the open of another door. You will never know. To me, it's that like, yes, time spent, but it's a knowledge that uh, once you acquire it, no one can take it away from you. Congrats, dear. You did it. We did it.